Yep. The Swapper from Curve Studios. Swapper is a, I don't know, a psychological thriller puzzle platformer, if you, I can call it that. Let's watch how it all begins. Space. The fun, I'll stop. Doesn't seem like that was a willing participant, but maybe that's just me. Which kind of goes along with the themes. Uh, themes of the game. employee is sent to planet surface with a mission. So of course I'm obvious before uh, using the D-pad or the left analog on the DualShock 4 is how you move. There is a cursor, the small, small blue dot control with the, the right analog. The swapper itself is a device. That essentially allows you to create a clone of yourself. The clone will mimic your movements and create up to four different clones. Uh, just like you, the clones take fall damage or what have you, they will die and sort of disappear. If you come in contact with them, as you saw, they will kind of I don't know, get kind of sucked back into you, so they'll just disappear, basically. You can kind of get rid of them. And use these clones to solve puzzles. Uh, those lights will remove all the clones from, from the room that you've that you placed. There's a lot of logs in the game, so there's a pretty rich backstory on um, on the actual device, the swapper itself, and how people who come in contact with it feel about it. One of the functions of the swapper, as I mentioned, well, I don't know if I mentioned, is the swapping aspect is actually swapping your essence, soul, what have you, from yourself into the clone. So essentially you become the clone. And encryption orbs are how you access uh, other areas within the environment. As you hold the, uh, I think, it's the, I think R1 or R2 is actually the, the control to create the clone. And I think the um, L1 or L2 is how you actually swap so you can send your self into the clone and you become the clone so you can kind of swap around 
Uh, the blue lit portions are areas that you cannot put a clone in. Uh, the red lit areas are areas that you cannot swap in. And the purple areas are a combination of the two, meaning you, in those areas you cannot place a clone or and you cannot swap. So that creates quite a challenge. Uh, as you'll see. That's always a pleasant sound. You collect some orbs. And the rooms kind of reset themselves. You can just easily uh, remove yourself from them once you get the orb. Some puzzles are easier than others. Um... Some really seem difficult, and once you get into them, you find out they're not. Others don't look difficult and prove to be, and then some just look crazily difficult and live up to that initial uh, perception. Yeah, when you walk in front of these rocks that you see to the right, um, it's almost like you, you feel as though, like, telepathically, the character is hearing something being said. That you're hopelessly deranged. Very well. Head towards control. I'll see if I can't come up with some common ground. It gets kind of freaky. Um, not jump scare freaky, just the idea, I don't want to spoil the story, but the idea of what may have transpired. Or what you know was transpired is, is is unsettling, and it makes for a very interesting and a very good game. It's a cerebral game for two very important reasons. Uh, the puzzles are at times just fiendishly difficult, and piece uh, piecing together what happens uh, narratively is also quite a challenge. Because I don't think I access all the logs, but I still feel like I got a pretty good grasp what transpired throughout the game. I've only shown a handful of puzzles, but there are many. And some make you feel smart because you get to them pretty quickly. Others, you'll beat your head against the wall until you realize what you were supposed to do. In some of these portions, you're sort of in, uh, in, a, in an area that uh, is anti-gravity and you have to use Sometimes, sometimes you can use the actual cloning function to move through it quickly, other times you have to use the sending your soul function in order to propel yourself. It's very atmospheric. Very well written game. Some people who really like a challenge and like a story that you really have to think about in order to really understand and grasp. That's the swapper.